what to do in a drowning emergency. This is really important besides acting immediately. Let's go through these, doctor. Right, so get your child out of the water immediately into a safe spot. That means typically a level uh, area, somewhere that's stable, somewhere you're out of danger in case you're in a rip current on, on the beach, get them well out of the water. Uh, at the pool side, get them somewhere where there's, where there's, we're clear, not just on the steps, okay? First thing to do is check to see if your child is breathing. Uh, and you can do that by either listening, um, you can, or, or seeing their chest or feeling their chest. And you know, at that point, most people tend to be in the pool or in activity with other people call or get to the uh, 911 immediately. And uh, I don't want to discount the fact how important it is to, to really learn CPR. It's not that hard, it doesn't take a lot of time, and it's very valuable. It's extremely valuable. When we see kids who do well after submersion injuries, we call them submersion injuries, water-related injuries or, or near drownings, the kids who do well are the ones who had CPR started by the parents right away. Just that chest compression is enough to keep the blood going uh, to the brain and the oxygen the, at the appropriate levels in the brain. Learn CPR. I know it's, uh, it's something that a lot of people know what it is, but can you describe actually what a person is doing when they're administering CPR? So great, great question. So what you're doing with CPR with the chest compressions, which we know is the most important part of CPR, is you're helping that basically that muscle of the heart muscle compress and you're sending blood back around to the brain and to the vital organs. That's the most important part of CPR. And if you can get the breaths in to help ventilate, that'd be great, but really understand that compressions are the most important. Strong, fast compressions are the most important thing you can do for your child.